-hmm. if you're going to be Christians, if you're going to be Muslims, atheists, Satanists, I don't care what you are, just focus on the preaching, focus on trying to explain things that people can understand. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Today we're going to react to this video over here that was suggested by a couple of people in the comment section below and we're going to react to Whoa, Prophet Hubert Angel takes Dr. Zaki Naik to school. Is the Trinity false? Is Jesus God? Alright, so without any further ado guys, let's get it. Talk to someone say communion diversity union in the community of the godhead hello welcome to another one so i'm going to be tackling this interesting topic of the trinity do christians worship three gods or they worship one god who expresses himself as the father as the son and as the holy spirit so i've got muslims who have been claiming that christians actually are claiming that there are three gods let's listen throughout the old testament and the new testament i challenge you to look through it and you will never find any explicit verses referring to god as three rather what you will find clearly is god is one there are verses where jesus may say me and the father we are one I and mean, they are together as a nation may say, we are one nation under God. But it doesn't mean we're individually one individual. Rather, it means we're united in our message. So okay. we have Dr. Sakanaik who has been quoting scriptures in an attempt to prove that Jesus is not God and also to prove that the Trinity, you know, is a lie. God cannot express himself as the Father, as the Son, and as the Holy Spirit. So let's listen to what he says. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, he said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29. My father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28. I cast out devils with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my father. Interesting. So before we get to the main video, I would like to share with you listen to this first yeah number one this is where muslims say jesus never said he's god yet in their own quran the the alpha and omega is the word of is what allah is mm. <laughs> from the beginning and the end mm. so when they say when muslims say jesus. god has never claimed to be god just show them this <laughs> i'm the alpha and omega. omega and then ask them what does your own quran say when the muslims say to you um you know god is only a uh, one they cannot be three. Yes. How can God create three gods? It's not good. There is a thing that is the, the God in the Allah in Islam is called the Tawid. Mm. Meaning to say God is one. The word Tawid, change it. It means a unified form. Oh. That means the unity. Yeah. So they're just arguing on the same thing that they are. Exactly. <laughs> amazing. So now family, check this out. Check this amazing revelation about the God yet. Tell me what you think about this. Who do you agree with the most? Tell us in the comment section. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll meet you in the next one. God bless you. After the tradition of men, so number one, there is philosophy. Number two, being fooled by stupid people. Number three, being stuck in a bygone era. Number four, after the rudiments of the world, the way the world does it. And not after Christ. That means you are an antichrist. If you don't believe what we're about to read now. For in Jesus. Maliga aska vuria teliga ankais. For what? In who? In Jesus. Dwells all the fullness. Of God. In bodily form. So that means. When you are there. As Jesus. Walk. As you see him. Jesus walk there. There is no God anywhere else. Uh -uh. Wait, wait there, son. Please, don't, don't leave. Now, in your head, you think when you see Jesus, he has a father somewhere.
all right here it is why is jesus called jesus what is the name jesus what does it mean oh uh, what is it again god among us thank you god among us the father god is among us so when we say jesus come here it meant what i'm calling god among us come here the name itself is telling you there is no other god anywhere except this one i know you're missing it without controversy great is the mystery of the godhead or godliness god was manifest in the flesh the father came in the flesh here it is stand up there stand up there now just there now let's say this is heaven the father is here and this is the son and this podium is the holy ghost according to what you think jesus spoke one word which is very controversial he says all power in heaven on earth is mine so what is god left with ah if jesus now claims all power even the one in heaven and on earth what is god left with now you see it takes time now to get in right i'm about to show you something now, so he is he made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in the fashion as a man not form uh, okay let me show you something why jesus prayed to the father when he was the father put it in the esv philippians 2 verse number six and seven esv so that you see it ah uh, i don't know if you are getting it who though he was in the form of god did not count equality with god a thing to be grasped verse number seven stand here so in him as god he is able to project the son out of him the holy ghost out of him which is part of him see this mic here those who are hearing me from there right? you are hearing me so that means my voice is getting there but i'm here something is amplifying me there but it's not me there the viewers all over the world are seeing my form but i'm not in their houses technology can replicate me in so many locations but god is not allowed to put the sun out of him and the holy ghost out of him you don't allow him yet technology is copying it so let's say this white thing is the father in god <laughs> now the bible says he emptied himself of the thing called god and left it here and came to earth and became a servant so don't ask me ever again who is he praying to you see they're, they're missing it so he removed because he could not be you if he had left it on so he removed it like an overall and said now i'm leaving the father this side and i'm wearing the form of a man because only if i remain as the father i can't die because the son the form of the son is the only one that can die oh. But there is a problem because God said to Adam and Eve, only a man, let him have dominion over the earth. The person with flesh and bones should only have dominion, no spirit. So on this side of reality, a man is important to spirits. Even when the devil wants to operate, he needs you. If God wants to operate, he needs you. You are a container of divinity. So, so, so he needed to be a man in order to be able to die. Because God doesn't die. And the Holy Ghost doesn't die. Only the Son dies. 
so god had one predicament he needed to come to earth because of the leader of the israelite religion at that time of the sanhedrin he said it is better for one man to die for the whole nation he says he did not know he was prophesying so god's intention was humanity needs someone to die for them now i have a predicament i want somebody who is clean among them to die for them because it has to take a man to die for men let's go back one two three wherever we see the word we put jesus wherever we see god we put god the father one two three in the beginning was jesus and jesus was with god the father and jesus was god the father so next time when you say father in the name of jesus i who did you touch jesus your problem is when you hear jesus you think second lower and then you take my prayer let me show you again i know the trinity, trinity mystery and remember there is no way trinity in the whole bible it's the word triune are you getting this I give you a cake here and say, can you separate the salt and the, and the flour and the egg? Would you be able to do it? Son, come here. Now, do you understand? I make him say, I stand here. You stand, 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 stand there. Now, do you see this? You stand there. Do you see the difference? If I say, come here, he comes. But these are three let's say god was father son holy ghost and they are separated which they are not which is a lie and they are not united in love as some say this same god created a man in his image and managed to create just one and yet he's in three parts <laughs> No, you are not getting me. So this man is spirit, soul, and body. So he's a triune person. Yet your God, you want him to separate. Yet he created the same thing that looks like him. You can sit down, guys. You, you stay as God. So now, this God is Father, Son, Holy Ghost. He makes a person who is spirit, soul, and body. Now, if I say to him, Come. No, no, I made your spirit. Okay, go back. Maybe your spirit can't come here. Your soul. Ah. Do, 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 do you notice? If I say his body because he's concerned about the flesh, he will all come here. But what he doesn't realize is, as he comes, he's bringing all of it. So if you were created as Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you were created by Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and you are spirit, soul, and body. That means the way you look is the way God will also look. I know you're not getting what I'm trying to say. So is Jesus the Father? Yes. Is he the son? Yes. Is he the Holy Ghost? Yes. He had to be the Holy Ghost because that's the only part that can enter and survive in a human body. The physical can't fit in. What do you think? I'm actually confused. Do you understand? there's too many things going on in this video um i don't know it just got too complicated for me honestly speaking honestly speaking and anyway to the looking at the title i'm trying to remind myself because now i'm confused text dr zakina to school did he directly respond to dr zakina no he just said muslims say that Again, that's why I find my issue, my a problem, do you understand?
-hmm. If you're going to be Christians, then don't speak down on another yeah. other people. If you're going to be um, Muslims, don't speak down on other religions. If you're going to be whatever it is, atheist, satanist, I don't care what you are, just don't. I think focus on the preaching, focus on trying to explain things that people can understand than trying to say, ah, but Muslims say this, but um, atheists say this. I feel like it defeats the whole point of your entire explanation. What are your thoughts? I think it's just too much to uh, to take in because we go to a point where it was even confusing. And for me, I always say that the 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 moment we start focusing on if you if you start focusing on somebody and trying to find the problem in that person then we are missing the whole point you know the moment we start criticizing things then you that's a misplaced uh, energy transfer i think the thing is um, we should just be people who I know I mean we have lots of differences out there we should sometimes we agree sometimes we don't agree but the moment to spend time trying to correct each other trying to correct someone because you feel like like your religion is more superior than other then uh, the point is just capsizing at that particular moment I feel like, to be honest, 100%, like religion is one of those things that was put out there to just divide us. One thing, I mean, that's that's the, that was our sole purpose with the agenda for just religion. I believe one time we were all in unison and there was one purpose until when probably some people who came in and interfered with us and gave us different analogies about the word of God, the idea of God, you know, Jesus Christ, Muhammad, uh, you know, Judaism and all this other religious text. Because everyone is wandering around trying to figure out. Do you understand? Are we meant to be just going around trying to figure out things? You want to tell me there was no one uh, singular person that understood that there is this truth and they stuck to that. I'm 100% sure there are people who live among us, they know the truth, but because they don't want to put it out there to us, the moment they put it out there, then we become more powerful. They, 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 some things will cease to, to, to even exist, do you understand? Some things will even cease to, to make sense anymore. You know, but anyway, um, for me, I'll just be happy when, when I just sit down and look at how things have come so far to a point where everyone is just united, you know, and not criticizing each other because you're Muslim, because you're Christian, because of what. Just let's come together and just put our differences aside. Let's work together to defeat the devil. The devil is out there pulling us down, and we are here trying to fight each other. Do you understand? There's a bigger, there's a bigger picture out there where we don't even pay attention to that, but we pay attention to the little things. Imagine me paying paying attention to a Muslim saying that Jesus is not God. Do you understand? Imagine me pay, paying attention to a Christian saying that Muhammad uh, married a 16 year old. He did certain things at an early age and all those kinds. Of Imagine me paying attention to that while there's the bigger picture where, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, I mean, the devil itself is just sitting somewhere and trying to separate us. Do you understand what I mean? So let's just come together. Let's fight the bigger devil and let's forget about trying to uh, figure out how strong we are as a, as a what. You know, we're not trying to form an ally and try to fight. What are we fighting for? You are all created by one creator. 
no one came from i don't know where where we all came from one particular source so let's figure out what that source is but let's just come together once we understand we come from one particular source all these other things will cease to even uh make uh, sense that much anyway yeah what is that? and another thing that i'd love to know though just in case the muslims watching this um what has maybe dr zaki naik said about the philippians verse that was given not just Dr. Zaki Naik, anyone from the Muslim community that has actually uh, spoken about how that verse talks about God taking up human form. I'll mm -hmm. just love feedback on that. Yeah, that's about it. Any comments? No. Let us know what you guys actually think about this video. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. And this is